bit of news for uh, the channel, I suppose. You could say I bought this for the channel a little bit, um, and for myself, obviously. Uh, I bought a car, you do know of it, and uh, should be a good thing. Oh, Barra Patrol, how you going? So, as you might be aware from my uh, previous videos, this is Lawson's car. He was, um, yeah, unsure if he wanted any more, rah, 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 long story short, I bought it off him. So, what a gem, really. Um, and yeah, so doing a compression test, that one, 235, written there already, actually. Running through them, um, engine could be hurt, finding out, probably put a new motor in it, and then it'll be happy days, so. Yeah, and then when, oh, I have my own car, Barra Bar Patrol, should be sick. Um, I'm pretty pumped, because this one's got the same turbo on it, as uh, me Falcon behind me, Borg Warner, so it's a S SXE 366. Whereas this one, right, Borg Warner, it's a 369, so 69 mil front too, mate. But yeah, two high mount Borg Warner barriers, so that's pretty tricky. Pretty pumped on that. Well, this is our spare parts car. The other car. Very well priced. Was it well priced? Yeah, it's very well priced. Oh, that's good. We, we do like deals here on Bobby and Boost. Yeah. So, has it got like the good diff or anything that we need? Yeah, it's got everything. It's got a guard. It's got a good engine. It's got mirrors because ours right. is missing a mirror. It's ours good. is missing that side too. Mm -hmm. It's got a rear plastic bumper. If you back that it's got a fastback, whatever they call it. Yeah, yeah sure does. Uh, What's it called? See, we're nah, it doesn't. Tell us to call. Well, we already polished ours on the pinny. Oh, boot lid too. Got a spare boot lid. Yep. Spare fuel flat for when we rip that off. This is a good walk around. Well, we can take that off the pinny, and we got a spare for when we need a paint code to neaten her up. True. Yeah, true. Super well rolled front guards. So yep. That is without. Well, the we box. couldn't do that. Did they open it? Careful of the doors. No, it doesn't. It's missing a few seats. Okay, two oh seven. And we got the nice vehicle. Okay. That's um. Got some sweet. A nice, nice car. Anyhow, so this will be for um, parts car. We want that diff, diff and for ours, and that's about it. So we got and then car. parts when we do everything else. Four by four life in suburbia. We doing there? It's why we live in suburbia. We don't live on a farm. It sucks. <laughs> you game at, not in a sexual way. <laughs> you read the, uh, the instruction about. manual here? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's first, see? Eh? Rubbing's racing, oh, no. and I think this is the rubbing car. Yeah. Oh, right, anyway. Does that feel good? Yeah, that's heaps good. Because the car's still on the trial, that's the confusing bit. Yeah, but we should be able to get under it now. Maybe even with front end. Oh, you're going to enjoy the trial right underneath it. Shut up, John. <laughs> 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 it makes sense. Oh, you're falling. Yeah. <laughs> now the car's on the trailer. So, you'll see a couple of random videos I've put together. The big girl, uh, it's at the moment a BF gas motor, ball going a turbo. You've seen this on the channel before if you've watched. <laughs> um, goes well, old mate, my mate uh, decided to get rid of it, wanted to sell it, so I bought it because it's what I'm all about. So, but yeah, she's got full suspension, remote reds, BP51s, front locker, etc. Um, steel bar, front and, well the front one's yet to go on, rear's on, 35's, 3 inch lift I think it is. Um, it's seen a bit of bush work, so uh, that's what it's for, this side's a bit neater. So it's on the hoist, because um, it needs a front diff. I think when I pull it apart, the crown wheel and pinion will be a bit stripped. Uh, CV's out, this side had a fair bit of crap in it. Leaking, a little bit rusty. CV, she'll work. It's not all time full drive, so only when it needs to be. <laughs> this side's looking pretty good. Uh, diff bolts all loose. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I've got a bad back, so I can't lift heavy stuff. So pumped, these guys rocked up. Just clear the GQ. We'll lift her out, we'll see what it looks like. So I pulled the diff out, big girl. So the air locker was still holding air, which is good. And as expected, all the bolts come out. A bar three, maybe. So yeah, she's cooked. <laughs> it's like starting to delaminate itself. But the gears all look good too. So yeah, pulled it more apart. Um, all looks in pretty good nick still. It's got a little bit of wear, but the locker itself in good nick. This bit, the shag bit. Bolts definitely come out of that. Sort of not that uncommon, unfortunately. Um, but otherwise, all the gears, no, never copped a uh, bolt or nothing. 
since being here, it's uh, decided to leak out of my power steering. Red. So, need your power steering pump too. So, <laughs> this is uh, what they do. They sort of, they have a ball and then they sort of say, hey, I'm broken. <laughs> uh, my brother, Dan, that grey dark one with the ZF. Hey, Dinkum. He's on to his fourth removal of the turbo setup in four weeks. So he's having a ball. He's putting a new turbo on that altogether because the other one died. So I haven't really filmed any of that, but they're all sort of struggling. And then Matt's. In the last video you saw, it had a new rear diff put in it. So yeah, this is what happens when you're having fun and you're pushing limits with power and then you go off-roading and care levels are low and you have it a ball. Can't be helped, it's what we do. <laughs> We're back. Uh, found out a few things and things take time and I need to use it. Well, I want to use it. So we're gonna make it up. So I'll be the guinea pig and we'll see if this lasts or not. So um, I'm, yeah, gonna hone this flat. You can see it's got some high points on it that I've already been hitting it with and I thought I should grab the GoPro. So I've got a little honing stone there. Um, this thing's not too bad. I've run a file around it yesterday. Um, when the thing, when some bolts have come out, it's left some dags and whatnot. So I've got a die grinder here. And we'll clean that up. I'll clean these edges up best we can. In general, all mating surfaces are there. And Ingenier says, as long as it's got clamping pressure and the faces are flat, we should be right. Um, to stop them coming loose. If they are crap, it'll obviously have Loctite. 142 newton meters, I think it is. Uh, and then I might even tack it off. I might put a tack on each bolt, because then at least they won't come out. <laughs> and we'll just wing it. So that's the plan. And then I'm gonna put it back together, and it'll be a good thing. Seventy-two hours later. It's getting there. I think we're pretty well there. Low spots are there, but I think it'll pull in. I'm gonna bolt it down with the torque settings. So right, she's going back together. So I cleaned all surfaces, filed them all, made them all flat. So like, another reason why I didn't get a new part of, of this thing called the large end flange or end cap is because like this locker side is already a bit shagged. Um, ARB don't sell the part anymore. You can get it from online. But then it was going to take time, and I don't have time. <laughs> so it's time to go back together. Pull the G-clamps off in the vise, and um, we may as well hold on to her all right. They're all tight. It looks um, secondhand if someone's going to pull it apart. I'm obviously not, like, too stressed. Like, I'm showing it on YouTube. So when I go to sell it, I'll probably tell them if it lasts. It might not last. <laughs> to stop um, them coming out again, and because that cap is now on its last use, and the bolts you can always get out of another diff. I welded her off. So it's pretty rogue. <laughs> but that now won't be my issue of them coming loose. So she's going back together nicely, which is an added bonus. Setting up backlash. And uh, she, on the tight side, can be 0.15 to 0.2. So that's looking the goods. And just for reference, I thought I'd better check the, uh, the mesh to the pinion and ring gear, crown wheel, and uh, that there, where's this light at? That's what you want. Yeah, that there is what you want for the mesh. And then if we go the other way with it, that's even more obvious. You can see it's in the middle, and then pretty well in the middle. So, happy with that. Airlines hooked up, tail shaft on, etc. One CV in. Other one, grease, ready to go, ready to pop the big girl in. Welded and painted up. Me little hole from a bolt that come out. And onto turbo oil drain tomorrow. And aircon. This thing wants aircon before the long weekend. This is the plan. Got the discs back on. Missed the old um, disc covers, shrouds. So had to pull that hub off quickly from behind it, but that's all right. Uh, set up the bearing preload with the patrol set up and then you lock it off with those screws 
trying to achieve wheels are on thank you everything's spinning oh, i've got them locked in to see that they are spinning uh diff oil's going in added bonus uh what else we got matt's fixing his water pump had a new water pump it died it did like literally 2000 k's i think maybe it looks new so that's annoying do my oil drain so it was leaking couldn't get this to, to hold a seal on my turbo most annoying so i've gone back to oh that's still warm uh there's a speed flow fitting to a metal adapter so now this can't melt against me me um high mount this won't leak once i put an o-ring in there got a freshie for it and i flattened it with the home stone thing we got going so there should be no issues in this vicinity anymore so pop that back on aircon tonight is the plan and then i'll have fresh air when i gas that up and um big girls ready to go they come up with a name hit me with names in the comments we need a name for this thing um it's a gold 98 patrol you know call what you want throw ideas out there i suck at names i need names for all my cars it makes it way more entertaining so I've been bending aircon lines and then in the vise, no O-rings at the moment, it is stiff. I had a practice one. Well, this was, this was actually not my practice one. This was to be, same as, snapped it. Oopsies. Had a practice one because the sensor's missing and um, found where the break point was. And uh, my third try is going well. We're nearly there. Um, just checking what the air filter looks like. And I had Dan working on it as well. Dan's Everyone been helping, helping out. out, mounted the power steering. It's crooked. Things all looking nice, but he just hasn't quite thought about it, has oh. he? Oh. Nah. Dan, Dan, oh. <laughs> That's not going to work. Really? Does it feel to come off it? Nah. Does that not just push on? Nah. How does that go off? Well, it's a tough one. Dan clearly hasn't pulled at it. <laughs> Basically, Daniel's fault. I put a photo of him here. <laughs> but nah, uh, turbo drain back on. Tick. Um, adjusted some clutch stuff. Aircon. Oh, on. imagine. Got him out of that pipe. Still, the size of that thing. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going. got a bolt in it. Nice. Anyway, oh. point of this being, um, we're, we're going well. <laughs> Service. I'd show you why we're doing it. Ah, oh, you got your pipe back on. But um, oh, this turbo looks like looks like someone threw sand at it while it was at six grand. Yeah. Easy too. What are you doing, Matt? <laughs>